I wanted to know basically how to control excitement. If you could uh, give me a, a easy or a simple way which yes. I can uh, follow. No, that would we, be can, really great. we can do that. If we just have you short, <laughs> after that you'll be cold and unexciting. <laughs> Why do you want to control excitement? I want you to be in a state of excitement all the time. Like, uh, for Your example. problem is, because see people have been telling you this, if you're too happy, sadness will follow. Do hmm? you, you understand? They've been saying this traditionally. So you're laughing too much, so tomorrow you will cry. <laughs> this observation has come because you are not functioning from your awareness, you are cyclical in your nature. If you become too much laughing today, tomorrow you will cry because it keeps happening for people. For many people it's true, for a lot of people it is true. It is from that context you are saying, don't want excitement because excitement leads to trouble, <laughs> isn't it? If you can be blissful and always in a state of excitement, is it not nice? I am always excited about everything. <laughs> There's nothing that doesn't excite me. That's why I'm asking question to you, Swamiji. <laughs> so I'm saying, why do you want to kill the excitement? Now, you must bring the necessary balance that ex excitement doesn't lead to disaster, isn't it? Excitement means life is happening more intensely, isn't it? Always it must be happening at maximum intensity. But now you should create the necessary balance so that your excitement doesn't lead to disastrous situations within you. So, ask for the right thing. You need the necessary balance. Not to kill life. Because if you live life, something may happen. If you live life, something may happen. So the best thing is to fall dead. That's the logic you're going right now. Is it the answer? No. no. If you live life, injury may happen, tragedy may happen, so best thing is fall dead right now so that nothing happens to you. That's definitely hundred percent insurance. But that's not the way, isn't it? You want to be alive, exuberantly alive and still maintain the balance. You are half alive and you are peaceful, it doesn't mean anything. You are exuberantly alive and still you're peaceful, this is beautiful, this is fantastic. Or you're exuberant and once in a way you lose your balance, that's still okay with me. But you're dead and peaceful, it doesn't mean anything to me, nor does it mean anything to life, isn't it? The idea, the idea of coming here is to live, isn't it? Is that so? The idea that we are existing here is to experience life as intensely and as deeply as it's possible. Everything that you're doing is only for that. But because of your fear of disaster, you're killing yourself and keeping yourself half alive. That's not the answer, that's not a solution at all. So, how not to be excited is not the question. How not to make excitement into your disaster? You must earn the necessary balance within you. Everything that we are doing is only in that direction. Are you a little more balanced than what you were five days ago? Such a short period. Five, six days is not a big amount of time. But are you a little more balanced? You just stick to the practice, I'm telling you. In six months' time, look at the kind of balance you have within you. You will stand apart in any group of people. That kind of inner balance will be there, definitely. <laughs>